Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a very big welcome if you are new here. Today I thought I would do a little get ready with me. It has been a hot minute. <laughs> Usually I have like some sort of thing to report back to you guys on but today I just thought I'd have a little chat with you all. Of course as usual I'm starting off colour correcting. Colour correcting that I'm using today is the Revolution Conceal and Correct in the shade Peach and actually it does a pretty decent job as you can tell. I hope you guys like my new little light behind me. You probably can't tell but it says the blushing giraffe on it. I thought it was really cute and my setup right now is looking very very busy. <laughs> I kind of like I was saying on Instagram just been in a bit of a funk, a sad funk like a lot of us and not had much motivation to sit and film. I've not filmed in a very long time. Back in January I said I was going to clear out my highlighters next and my concealers and I've not actually got around to doing that and I need to because my whole storage behind me, like you can't tell because I'm sitting in front of the bulk of the mess but it is a mess right now. I feel like once I've done the concealer clear out I'm gonna have so much more room, not for more things, like no, <laughs> but just room to see what I've got because at the moment everything's kind of piling up on top of each other. But yeah alhamdulillah my skin is doing okay. I did have two very big spots here and here and I've been treating them with several different products. I will leave my skincare cabinet video down below because that's got like my whole skincare collection pretty much. I've also this last Sunday has just gone by started using retinol like the proper retinol not the smallest amount in an oil because I have well I've been using the Sunday Riley oil on and off. I thought let me actually start using retinol now like I am 25 I'm about to be 26 in May inshallah. They recommend that you start using retinol up like the age of 20 25. This is really good for obviously like anti-aging but also for acne scars. I could definitely do it with some help in that department although alhamdulillah from the use of the PMD which I've already got a video on and also from using acids regularly, exfoliating properly. I feel like my scarring has reduced quite a bit but it is all about consistency. So how have you guys all been doing? I know that we are almost at the end of February now, which is a bit bonkers. And I feel like as we're approaching the March date, which is obviously one year since the uh, pandemic started, I was feeling a bit like, oh my goodness, like we've been living like this for a year. And it is a little bit mind boggling when you think about that, because where on earth has that year gone? Honestly, like how are we in a very similar situation to before. It's a bit daunting. I know there's been lots of chat about it recently, especially with like the roadmap, which Boris has put up. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts? Are you hopeful for a back to normal in June or are you a little bit more cautious? I'd be interested to know what you guys think. I mean, for me, I guess it doesn't really even apply to us because Nicola Sturgeon has not given dates and we also will be going back to a tier system. Basically said that there's no real like data to suggest that we are ready to come out of a tier system. And I suppose like one positive of having a tier system is you get to like focus on how each area is doing individually rather than putting the whole country on one particular kind of phase. I just know this year, this past year, it's just gonna be one we'll never forget. And I think I've heard a lot of people say on their socials and stuff that they're actually feeling a little bit apprehensive about the thought of going back to normal and like this has become the new normal for so many of us. I know for me we moved into this apartment back in October and like we've not really had any family around. Obviously at the start we had my sister-in-law but we, like as in like extended family and stuff we've not really had them around so that's gonna be strange like visiting people's houses again, um, family events. Also one massive thing is that like how much children would have grown up and changed and evolved in this time is gonna be bonkers because I've obviously like loads of you guys, I'm on family WhatsApp groups and I've been seeing each of the houses giving their own pictures of their children and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Since when was that child that big? Like, I am shook. I'm actually shook. Like, how did that happen in a year? <laughs> and I suppose, like, we have been focusing, I suppose, especially those of us who don't have children, have been focusing on, like, how our year has been with this whole pandemic, but children have like gone for a whole year of it as well. I honestly think a lot of children will appreciate school more after this experience. Having to do the homeschool 
life with online learning and stuff it just is not the one for most of them I think just having that appreciation of their teachers uh, of that social element of school being able to see their friends I really think that's going to be I suppose a positive of having this lockdown apart from the obvious which is you know having the cases go down and the hospitals have less strain etc I know loads of people are also talking about like where they want to travel to first and you know like they cannot wait to get on planes and stuff and I'm honestly the exact same. If you guys have been following my channel for a while you'll know that in our first year of marriage myself and my husband alhamdulillah we managed to go to a lot of different places and there's just so many more like places we want to visit inshallah and such like a big bucket list of like places we want to go to so I definitely am looking forward to that and in terms of the vaccine I'm just waiting for my letter <laughs> this whole year has made me so grateful for the amount of traveling we were able to do in our first year and then it's also just made me want to go and travel so much more I was having a think the other day I wonder if like people who live in these tourist hotspots Bali or anywhere you know anywhere that's got like natural places that people want to visit like Egypt etc I wonder if they've also actually been able to finally enjoy their country tourist free so obviously like I'm sure every country has different a different situation a different scenario happening it feels like some parts of the world have hardly been affected at all and that's obviously due to the way that they all led their leadership and the steps that they were taking in that country I feel like so many of us are just frustrated at the lack of leadership and what do you guys think about like a whole new um, eat out to help out scheme coming out i also read that rishi sunok wants to restart that again i'm gonna be really honest like me and my husband we indulged in that like we love that honestly i had a few one or two meals out with my friends when i was down south and then we had like a little staycation in manchester and obviously because manny is like the best place for a lot of food manchester or bradford but i think Manchester in terms of like places that are doing um help out to eat out and then when we go back to Dundee as well because that was I think it was like a whole month long thing but they did then correlate eat out to help out with cases rising but I suppose like his argument could be that by that point when they launch this eat out to help out the majority of adults will have been vaccinated so that will um you know reduce the cases and someone was saying as well on my Instagram like it's not really about reducing cases it's about reducing the stress in hospitals because people will get COVID but the whole like purpose of, of vaccines I suppose you could say is to have herd immunity that way like it's not gonna have a detrimental effect to the healthcare system and also to the death toll that makes sense so it's great news that like all over 70s and 60s have been vaccinated i believe in england they have moved on to the over 40s this week uh, i'm still waiting to hear anything back from the teachers for the teachers here in scotland because i just think if you guys are opening schools to all the children which they have half done already then we should have been vaccinated before that because we are also frontline workers and we are also in the thick of it um there's not a coincidence that cases have dropped because schools have been shut they did that for a reason so it's just a bit bizarre to me that the government have not prioritized teachers teaching staff like anyone working in a school to get a vaccine it's just bonkers to me honestly but for me i wasn't even nervous due to like how quick it'd be made because at the end of the day this is a global pandemic and people are going to be focusing their whole attention on trying to create vaccines for it there was an argument saying like oh look how long it took to create a flu vaccine but that how many years ago was that like technology has come a long way science has come a long way and i just think it's a very simplistic argument to say oh because flu vaccine took this long like we shouldn't get the covid one because we don't know about it i mean of course we don't know about it we're not doctors we're not healthcare professionals you know like the majority of us aren't obviously in terms of actually taking the vaccine or not that's a total personal choice and i'm just going to use this um elf eyeshadow palette this is so pretty it's in but the 
packaging is a little bit raggedy. This is in the shade Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to use these browns as just like a base shade. I'm not going to do too much of a heavy base. But oh yeah, so like obviously taking the vaccine, that's your choice. I personally feel like very, very soon we're going to be at a point where they're going to say no vaccine, no travel, countries won't let you in without the vaccine. Everyone's got a right to not have it, but you should not be spreading misinformation. And the thing is with the internet and with every single person, including me, but you know, every single person having the access to our platform and being given a voice, it's just like the amount of fear mongering and, and like spread of lies is just insane. It's just crazy. And and like as adults, we need to be fact checking, we need to be looking for false information. I don't think anyone should be trying to discourage people to take a vaccine that could potentially save their lives and stop them from getting very, very ill. It's just so morally irresponsible, in my opinion, for people to do that. And there are people just out there trying to dissuade people from doing it. And obviously it is such a personal choice as well. But I just think like you have to be very, very careful about what you're saying and just think a little bit before you speak i think if everyone thought a little bit before they spoke like the world would be just a much more sensible place it would just be so much better guys i cannot believe that our nephew is gonna be one soon inshallah feels like he was just born last month he was born a week before lockdown started so there was no masks in hospitals we were all allowed to go and see him it was as normal as the time as could be then lockdown hit and yeah like he's he's just had a very like sheltered life as a baby i'm gonna use guys this pigment from it's an instagram company called magical makeup and this shade is called moonbeam and it's absolutely gorgeous so i've just done like a very basic brown base and i'm just gonna apply this pigment and i'm going to i don't know how well you can see that in the camera i don't want to tip it all over my desk what i'm gonna do is grab a brush and a spray and like pack it on <gasps> how stunning oh my goodness how beautiful is that that pinky gold shift that is absolutely beautiful and it's applied so easily you know with minimal fallout there how gorgeous is that it's actually a lot more pink in shift than it is gold in the actual pan it looks super gold and that's what i found with all of these pigments is that they all look whole color but actually they all have a very strong pink go through them so if you're not if you're not a big fan of pink i wouldn't recommend it I like pink. Just gonna add some eyeshadow to the top and I would typically use a smaller brush in this but I don't have too much time so I'm just gonna use this big fluffy one instead and it does do the job because it will get the shadow where it needs to be but if you're really like if you've got time and you don't need to rush and you want to be more precise then use a smaller brush. And then I'm just going to take a small fluffy brush. I think this is the e.l.f. Yeah, this is the e.l.f. Detail Crease Brush. I feel like so many people sleep on e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to just grab this Ilma Masca Gloss. This is in the shade Enchant. I'm also going to put some blush on and some highlight. So let's switch it up from NARS for once. I'm going to use the H&M blush in the shade soft russet it's a really really beautiful like pinky berry shade i think that these br blushes are like really nice quality they're not the most long lasting but i mean they're like five or six pounds so i don't think it's fair to expect like nars longevity for like a five pound product but they are really easy to blend like how stunning does that look just taking that up a little bit. Then I'm just going to go with the highlighter. I feel like I've kind of been like stuck in a weird rut with highlight, even though I have quite a lot of it. I'm doing my makeup on camera. Like I don't like to use products that are discontinued. And a lot of the, the highlight that I've been gravitating towards has been Topshop highlighters. And I am so gutted that they got rid of Topshop Beauty. Like I know ASOS have brought Topshop and Top Man. So I wish I could have brought Topshop Beauty too. The quality of Topshop Beauty is really, really good. Okay, ladies, I'm going to do my liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, that took me quite a while, <laughs> but my lashes are on now. So the last thing I'm going to do is just 
do a little bit of inner corner highlighting and this is the pressed pigment which I feel like actually I should have put in a palette I'll do that after this how pretty is that lovely little silvery shade I feel like no look is honestly complete without that inner corner that makes the biggest difference Okay, I just slightly muted my lips by putting Dose of Colour Truffle on top because I feel like that bright pinky colour was not going too well with my the rest of my look. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit rusty. I've not done like a chit chat get rid of me in a very long time. And yeah, there wasn't like any particular topics to talk about. It was very current world focused. But I've not really done too many videos on the panademic so i hope you guys yeah enjoyed it let me know what you guys think below have you got the vaccination yet i would love to know and if you have what were the effects for you and yeah i will speak to you guys very soon take care bye